Hi there, welcome to the Inkscape. Inkscape is a vector-based program which allows you to create images using lines, curves, and points. This is different than a raster-based program such as GIMP, which creates images using pixels. Let's begin by learning the basic areas of Inkscape. On the left-hand side of your screen, you will see the variety of drawing and editing tools available. At the top part of the menu is the command bar, and below the command bar is the tool controls bar, which is specific to each tool in Inkscape. At the bottom of the screen is a status bar. This will display useful messages and hints while designing your project. Above the status bar is our color palette. Let's begin by opening a new project in Inkscape. Click on File, New, and for now we'll choose the default setting. Once your new window appears, maximize it so you can see all the toolbars available to you. This is our canvas screen. All drawings should stay within the canvas area. In order to view it larger, click on View, Zoom, and Page. Let's start by making a simple square design. Click on the toolbar icon with the square. On your canvas, press and hold your left mouse button. Move your mouse to your right and down to size your square. Once your square is in place, you'll see two square nodes. These nodes will allow you to resize your square. You can also resize a square by using the tool controls bar menu above by decreasing or decreasing the width and height. The square node allows you to round the edges of the square and square them off again. So let's change the color of the square by using the color palette below. We'll make this one a dark blue. We'll change the gradient of our square by double clicking on the fill option on the bottom left. A screen will appear to your right and you can change the gradient by using the fill tab as well as add a blur or increase the opacity. Now we'll add an outline by using the stroke paint option and then we'll change the width by using the stroke style tab. You can change the color of your gradient by using the Fill tab again. We'll change the color now and increase the width of the outline. We'll blur the image and then copy it to add another square the same size and color. Go to your selection arrow tool and click on the square. Go to edit, copy, and paste. Move your square to your canvas. We'll add another by clicking edit and paste again, and we'll resize the square into a new shape.
Now we'll add some text, but we'll add a new layer. Click on Layer, Add New Layer, and call it Text. Click on the text tool and type in Simon's Tech Tips. We can resize our text by using the arrow keys. I want the text to be the same color as a gradient, so I will use the dropper tool, click on the color I want, and fill the text with that color. I'll also use a stroke style to outline the text. You can still change the font style by clicking on text, text font, and we'll choose one for our project called poster. You can move your images around and change the colors or style design until you're happy with the result. We'll increase our text size. Now we'll save the design by clicking File, Save, and typing in a name for our project. 